Alright guys, welcome to the video. Today, I'm going to give you the best defensive team. Now, these aren't just the best defensive operators and just thrown together on a team. These are operators who I feel will complement each other and who I feel can really work together. Now, this doesn't mean that you're going to win every defensive round because there are a lot of other things than their gadgets that come into play, like how skillful you are with your weapon, um, the different situations, and how you put yourself in the best possible place and positioning to win, you know, gunfights and win different situations and how you react. Without further ado, I will start off the list first. If you haven't seen my last video, I will leave a link in the description. Now, with the list, Bandit is my first pick. Alright, so Bandit is pretty much my favorite defensive operator, I would say. I love his gun, but his gadget does wonders for you. He can stop Thermite and he can also stop Ivana from breaching in. The only counter to him I would say is Thatcher, Twitch if he can get through, and maybe even IQ or anyone who can just shoot it down. But they would have to get inside the objective first. So having Bandit to protect the reinforced walls from going down is huge and is very vital to a team I feel. Um, Like I said, only Thatcher can really take it down and if the team doesn't have a Thatcher then they're pretty much shit out of luck. Next operator I will pick to complement Bandit will be Mute because he can go hand in hand with Bandit. If there are too many reinforced walls for Bandit's gadget to, um, to hold down then Mute can pretty much do the same thing. He can stop um, Habana and Thermite from detonating their charges and exploding the reinforced walls. But he's also a little bit more versatile. He can stop drones from breaching through. He can also stop Fuse, and that's huge. And I also pick these two over Jaeger, because one, Jaeger needs to use all of his ADSs pretty much to stop one of Fuse's cluster charge. But with Mute, if Fuse is um, trying to do his cluster charge through a wall, a window, or a doorway, Mute can pretty much jam it and it cannot be set off at all. The only way it could be is if Fuse detonates it from the roof above. Next on my list is Valkyrie, and I choose Valkyrie because she can open up three extra lines of sight for your defensive team. And that can be huge when you have more lines of sight open. So if your team goes down, they can, you know, work the cameras for you. They can call out for you. Having her cameras are pretty much a very vital part of a team. And also, if you don't want to have extra lines of sight, but you want to have backup, so say there is a camera watching the hallway, but you want to put her black eye camera also in that hallway, most likely the regularly installed camera will be shot down so you would still have that extra you would still have that hallway visible by her black eye camera if it's put in a good positioning that's the only thing that you have to worry about with Valkyrie make sure it's positioned correctly and safely so so the defending team cannot just shoot it down and also I pick her over mirror because with Amira's um black mirror uh, it can be opened up by twitch or by somebody breaching through the opposite side of the room and that can pretty much jeopardize your team um somebody could shoot you through it if it's opened up without you knowing and it can really hurt your team in a lot of ways I find that I lose more rounds with Mira than I would with Valkyrie because of this that's why I gravitate more towards Valkyrie because there's no risk pretty much using Valkyrie next on the list is Pulse and I choose Pulse because he would be a great roamer I'm um, also great just you know all-around defensive person I don't think his gun is necessarily the best but his gadget no well, his gadget isn't necessarily the best but but it does help out your team because he can, you know, call out to you, hey, there's a guy over here, there's two guys over there, and you can be prepared for that. And I pretty much picked him because I've watched the Pro League a little bit, and I saw how they were using him and how effective he was in certain situations in the Pro League. And he doesn't necessarily have to just sit inside the objective to help call out. He can go and roam a floor above, he can roam two doors over, he can roam a floor below, and he can still be just as effective. And I do pick him over Caviera because Caviera can pretty much do the same thing but she has to interrogate an enemy first and in that interrogation if there is a teammate of the attacking team near she can easily easily be killed and you won't really be able to interrogate for your teammates um yes there's more of a reward because then your team can see where everyone is versus having to call out where everyone is but first you have to get somebody down so that is why I pick 
Pulse. He is a safer option. All right, and lastly, I pick Smoke, but I pick Smoke because he is able to just stall the enemies from just breaching the objective and you know taking it over super quickly. Um, you know nobody wants to run through his poisonous smoke. Also, it can help waste time. And this is also another character I seen in the pro league and how effective he was in the pro league. That is why I picked him, and I feel he would be a very vital operator and asset to the team. Now, how I was saying they complement each other. Well, when you have Bandit and Mute watching pretty much all the doors and reinforced walls say they're just on reinforced walls and there's only three or four doors and windows to breach through well if it's open and you feel that they're going to come in just throw a smoke and you pretty much stall that doorway and they would have to wait and wait or they would have to breach through one of the other ways so it pretty much you limit their access to the objective and having valkyrie's camera outside um to see where everyone is working in tandem with pulse with pulse to know where everyone is that could pretty much be huge you pretty much have the opportunity to know where all five players are on the map at one time without putting your teammates in danger or risk. So having two people on their gadgets and three people um, watch the objective would be huge and vital and I feel that is the best team that you could pretty much have. Now you could trade out maybe I would say smoke with um, Rook because he does give your teammates extra armor, armor. but I would only say that if you're a unexperienced player, inexperienced player, Smoke and Pulse, I would say you should be one of the most skilled players on the team to use these, um, to use these operators. Um, Mute, Bandit, and Valkyrie, they don't really need that much experience. Um, it would be helpful to the team, but if you have an uh, experienced player, they can just call out, hey, I need you to put a camera over here. I need you to put a signal disruptor over here, or I need you to put a battery on this reinforced wall. So that's all I have for the video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope this was um of some use to you if you feel that this list could be different please let me know give me um comment who would you switch out or what your lineup would be and i will try to do the attacking team either by tomorrow or by wednesday so stay tuned for that bye